brother Lannis. And the spread of rumors about me sleeping with other men. It wasn't easy for us to become a family. Before Josiah was born, we lost a baby. So the fact that we have Josiah now is a miracle. I can't believe that he would take our child for granted. I just hope when I finally clear my name, we can be a family again. All right, so as you just heard, Stanford's brother, Lannis, is one of the main reasons why Stanford suspects that Natasha is being unfaithful. We're going to meet him in a bit. Okay. She seems so sincere. You really believe she's cheating? Yeah, man, I really believe she's cheating because when I'm in the club and I go to the bathroom or something and my brother tell me, he, I come back, I see her over there in the corner talking to younger guys. Here's the thing, though, Stanford. You all suffered a tragedy. You had a child, and the child did not live. Nah, it didn't. But then you had this miracle. Yeah. Child. I mean, I Josiah. hope. I, I, Maury, I, 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 I hope he's mine, Maury. You think he looks like you? I can't tell. What about this tank top you found? I was sitting on the bed, and I looked, and I see a tank top, Maury. A, guy, mean, a, guy's, a tank. guy's tank top. And when I fixed the tank top up, it looked, I mean, it looked like my son could wear it. And her, and her ex-boyfriend, he's a small guy. And then your brother, your brother keeps talking to you about her, doesn't he? Yeah, he, 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 oh. he keeps telling me he, yeah. he sees her. Like, he said he was riding his motorcycle one day, right? And he said he pulls up beside her at the red light, and he sees another guy in the car. He said the, car, the guy lays the seat back. Yes, but exactly. I asked her who the guy was, but she denied it. So, Maury, look, I'm here today for some answers, man. Let I me know go out there. Let I me go out here. Lying to me. Let exactly. me go out there. All right. The truth today. Well, here she is, the love of your life. Here's Latasha. Latasha, come on out. You love this man? Yes, I love him with all my heart. Why doesn't he trust you? What's going I don't on? know. I think it's insecurity. Insecurity? What kind of insecurity? No, we've been through thick and thin together. You overcame that tragedy by having that beautiful little boy, and yet he doesn't think it's his. He knows it's his baby, Maury. Well, why does the ex-boyfriend keep coming up in the pictures? I have, nothing, I have nothing to do with that, Maury. What do you think of his brother? His brother needs to stay out of our business and worry about his relationship. That's what he needs nah. to do. My bro I love my brother. That's what he needs I ain't gonna let you do that to him. I what about, you lying. What about that mysterious tank top that found she found? That was his tank top, Maury. His tank top. His tank top. Uh, tank top was this wide. And that's no. how big as my ex boyfriend. That was his tank top. He the only one wearing tank top. If if she passed this lie detector test, right. and if Josiah turns out to be mine. Yes. I told her I would marry her. You think, you think Lana's trying to break you all up? I think so. I think he's jealous. Everybody, here's Lannis. Did you see her at the club? What was she doing? Maury, I'm leaving the club. See her all out to the car. Two dudes around the car. She don't That's see me. Lie, and then she do look over there and That's see me. Lie. Just shut up and That's let me talk. Maury talking to me. Hey, Maury. Two dudes over by the car. She look over and see me. Oh, and then it's now you want to walk away. We at the club together, Maury. Hoochie dancing in the club. And then you saw her in a in your brother's car. Yes. Oh yeah. I'm right. I see my bro. So I think this bro. You know. I pull up. She obviously had to look in the rear view and see me. And guess what she do? Smash the gas. Line. And then Quit the red light gets me. But the dude. But the dude let the seat back. That's a lie. If it's my bro, he ain't gonna let no seat back. That's she full on more. She full on. Do you think that's your nephew? Hey, it's a slim shot. He it's a slim shot. Dr. Jen, Dr. Jen, you've been listening to this. What do you think? Well, look, here's the thing. 
you guys are raising a son together. And regardless of how this DNA test turns out, what I want for you to know is that if you pull back in any way from parenting this child, you will do catastrophic damage to him. They will completely alter the course of his life. He knows no one else as his father. So I want to hit home to you how important that is. Unfortunately, on the topic of parenting, as you put in your interview, you're also raising your wife. And typically, yeah, and, t and typically, when men pick women who are this much younger than them, they're guys who like to be in control. But what happens is eventually those women start to feel like, I don't want to be controlled, and they want some freedom, and they want to grow up. <laughs> This is a woman that needs some room to develop independence and to develop a life of her own. On a separate note, there's a lot of unresolved grief from the stillborn pregnancy that both of you are carrying. And when people have grief that is unresolved, they act it out elsewhere. They act it out with drinking, with sex, with all kinds of other things. That grief has to be addressed individually and together as a couple. Okay, so we are going... We're going to have the results of the paternity test first. But see, that's what I was going to tell you, just like she 